Well, hello again, everyone. Well, as you might remember, we bought a blow-up air awning when we were at the NEC, and we tried it out when we visited the site at Rotherham not long afterwards. And it's quite difficult to strap it across the front of the van to hold it onto the back, if that makes any sense. You'll need to watch the video to see what I did. But what I've done is I've bought some awning rail to put on the back so that uh, I don't need to worry about that. Right, so this is the awning rail. It's uh, a, a single sort of channel. Uh, there you go, I don't know if you can see that. And it's got countersunk screw holes uh, for fixing onto the van. Now if I put this on, this should enable us to fit a drive away awning strip. So we can uh, pull that out and then go off for the day in the motorhome, leaving the awning pitched and come back to the campsite and connect it up again with the strip. Or we can just put the awning strip into it and have a sort of permanently fixed awning, which is probably what we'll do, certainly to start off with. So the first problem really is where to fix it on the van. I want to get it as high as possible so it clears the top of the door when it opens, but I'm a little bit uncertain about fixing to that curved section at the top. So what I might do is fix it directly underneath that other trim on the flat bit. Also has the advantage that that existing rail is already acting as a sort of drip gutter kind of rail and uh, I'm not adding any extra points where water's going to get trapped. Now these are both too long when you add them together. Obviously you don't want them hanging out beyond the end of the van, sweeping cyclists off their bikes and that sort of thing as you drive along. So. I'm going to need to cut them to length. Now you can see there's two screw holes where my finger is, one on either side of my finger. So I'm not going to cut half each evenly. I'm going to cut one side first, a little bit longer, so these two screw holes are close to the joint so I don't get any wobbling. Yeah, see what I mean? So my join will be there-ish. So now I'm gonna mark where that comes to on the van. And match the other length up to it and mark that for cutting. Now I'm leaving a few mil at the end of the rail because I don't want it to come right up to the edge of the van because uh, I'm not entirely sure what the construction is there and I don't know what I'd be screwing into. I might be screwing into the end grain of some plywood if I did that. So. I'm going to play it safe and bring it in just slightly. Now I just want to get rid of any sharp edges that might catch when I'm trying to feed the awning bead through. So I want to clean up these ends but I haven't got a round file, I've just realised. I don't have a rat tail file or anything. So I'm just going to have to try and do it very carefully with the flat file I've got. Right, that should do. Just wanted to make sure there are no birds or sharp bits on there. I'm going to be using some adhesive to stick this on as well, so I'm going to give it a good old clean along where it's going with the uh, Demon Machine Cleaner first, 
and a bit of a degrease with some white spirit just to give that the best possible chance to stick. Now for screwing them on, I've got these nice uh, three quarter inch number six stainless steel countersunk screws which fit the channel quite nicely and should be the right length so they don't come out onto the inside of the van. Right, so, well the plan is to put one side up first using that top channel as a guide for positioning and then put the other side on so it butts neatly up to the first side what we don't want is a step in the join of course uh, and then once we're happy with the position i'll take the first side off put the tiger seal on i'm using a, a sort of tiger seal or automotive sealant as a backup to the screws and also to um, act as a bit of a filler to prevent any water getting in the screw holes and then we'll do the other side and then hopefully everything will line up and the job will be done. So let's give that a go. So this is what I've chosen to use, the uh, Tiger Seal. It's a white sealant it does come in other colors but obviously white is best for the motorhome oh there we go there's the finished job so hopefully we'll be able to put the awning up without flinging those straps right across the front like we had to do in Rotherham. Well that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new. Thank you.